Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more project ideas and tutorials. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today on Cricut Time. Today I'm going to review the Maker and the Explorer Air 2 to help you make a decision about which machine is right for you. I would say the two main considerations that you need to think about when picking which machine is right for you are your budget and what kind of crafts you like to make and what kind of crafts you want to make in the future. So retail price for these are different. The Explore Air 2 is $249.99 and the Maker is $399.99. There are a couple similarities that both of these machines have in common. You can use Bluetooth or USB for both of these. Also, you need to use these mats. So this is a sticky mat. It's going to slide in, which I'll show you in a little while. And there are four different colors. Each color corresponds to a different type of material. It's very important to make sure you use the right mat for the right material that you're going to use. Both of these machines can cut, draw, and score. Both of them can do over 100 different materials. The Maker can do absolutely everything that the Explorer can, but it can do quite a bit more, which I'll get into in a little while. So now we're going to take a look at each machine individually. This is the Explore Air 2 in mint green. When we take a look at the outside, there's a little hole here. You can put your cartridges in if you have previous models of a Cricut or your tools. So this is what I use mine for. You have all of your tools that you need, your scissors and your weeder and your lifter, and I just keep all of them in there. Over on the side here, there's a dial and this one has different options. So it's paper, vinyl, iron-on, light cardstock. You just choose the dial or turn the dial and choose your material that you're going to be using for the day. To open it, you just press open. It opens for you. And there's some more storage inside here. There are two different compartments. This machine can cut, write, and score, and it's perfect for cardstock, vinyl, and iron-on material. So the Explore Air 2 markets at $249.99. On occasion, Cricut does have a sale and you can get it for $229. On the Air 2 and on the Maker, there are two different clamps. So there's one here, and this is for your pens, and there's another one here, and this is for your tools. The tools compatible with this machine are using pens, using fine point blade, a deep point blade, a foil transfer blade, and a bonded fabric blade. So I'm going to go through each tool in just a little while here, but one thing to note is for fabric, the Explore Air does have to be bonded fabric. So what that means is you need to have a backing on the bottom of your fabric so that this machine cuts properly. Your Explore Air 2 can cut over 100 different materials. So these are going to be things like cardstock, iron-on, vinyl. There are a lot of different projects that you can do with these materials. You can make cups, tumblers, and even personalized gifts for Christmas. The one limitation though is that this machine can only cut a maximum depth of two millimeters thick. If you're mostly going to use your machine for making shirts, making tumblers, or personalizing ornaments, then this is probably the way to go. The Explore Air 2 is a really great cutting machine. If you want to do anything outside of those limits though, then let's take a look at the Maker and see if that's right for you. The Maker retails for $399.99 and on sale, which comes up pretty often, you can get it for $369.99. In the Explore Air 2, you can cut over 100 different materials, but in the Maker, you can cut over 300 and they're all programmed already into Design Space. The thickness you can cut is 2.4 millimeters, which is perfect because now you can start doing your wood and your leather. So when I take a look at the outside, there are two large compartments here for storage. Again, this is mostly useful for putting your tools in. How to open this one, you just lift up the top and it does the rest. Down at the bottom, again, there's the same sliders as there are for the Explore Air 2 for putting in your mat. You just line them up and put it in. There are two different clamps, just like in the Explore Air 2. There's one clamp for your pens, and then there's another clamp for all of your tools. And there are a couple differences as well. So up at the top, there's a slot here, and this is perfect for resting on your iPad or your phone. Over on the side here, you're going to notice that there's no dial like on the Explore Air 2. Instead, with the Maker, you actually choose your materials when you're going to cut it in Design Space. I really like this option. When you go in, it gives you headings, so you can choose vinyl, 
you can choose cardstock and it gives you subsets. So it'll ask you exactly what kind of vinyl you're using so that it can perfectly cut your material without wrecking your mat. There's more storage on the inside as well. Down on the bottom, it's quite a large compartment and it's a little bit wider. So you can put all of your extra tools in there and your extra blades as well. One thing that is pretty amazing with the Maker is the quick swap housing capabilities. So you have a whole bunch of different tool options, which I'm going to go through in a minute. But one nice thing about them is there's this little button at the top. You can push it and you can take off your different blades. So this makes your projects a lot faster when you're doing a whole bunch of different tools in one project. And it's nice that there's built-in storage for it as well. So now that we've taken a look at the differences between the machines, I'm going to show you the tools and what each one does. With both the Explore Air 2 and the Maker, there are a variety of different tools that you can use for different jobs. I'm going to give you a quick overview of those tools now. The first one is the Premium Fine Point Blade. This is the blade that I use most often, and this is the blade that comes with your machine. This one is perfect for light projects like cardstock, vinyl, iron-on, and even poster board. When you want to start using thicker material, then it's time to use the deep blade. This blade is great for leather, thick cardstock, cardboard, chipboard, felt, and more. The Explore Air 2 has one more blade, and that's the bonded fabric blade. This cuts fabric, however, it does need to have a backing on it so that it cuts it properly. Aside from the blades, there are a couple more tools that you can use with your Explore Air 2. One of them is the scoring stylus. This tool scores fold lines, and it's very useful if you want to make cards, envelopes, or even boxes. In Design Space, you can choose if you want to cut your image or if you want to draw it. If you choose Drawing, you can put your pens right into Clamp A and make really fun designs for cards and other projects with cardstock. In addition to regular pens, there's also a line of infusible ink pens. These are pretty neat because you can transfer them onto fabric, just like you would with an iron-on material. And our very last tool that we can use with the Explore Air 2 is the Foil Transfer Kit. This is a really nice feature as you can embellish your cards, your invitations, or even your gift boxes. So next up, we're gonna take a look at which tools we can use with the Maker. One of the great things about the Maker is that it can use all of the tools that the Explore Air 2 can. So in addition to all the tools we just went over, there are a few more that we can use with the Maker as well. The first one is the knife blade. The Maker has 10 times the power of the Explore Air 2, which is why it has the capabilities of using the knife blade. This is a powerful blade that can cut leather, balsa wood, mat board, and chipboard. I like to use this blade for making jewelry, wooden signs, and even puzzles. The second tip that the maker can do that no other machine can is use the engraving tip. This tip works on a flat, soft metal, leather, acrylic, plastic, or even aluminum. This is a useful tool for making nameplates, jewelry, or even dog tags. The third tool is the fine debossing tip. I found this tool really helpful around Christmas time because it makes beautiful detail into your cardstock, your poster board, or even your craft board. The next blade in the lineup is the rotary blade. If you're going to be using your Cricut for quilting, or for many projects that have to do with fabric, then this might be an important difference for you. With the Maker, your fabric does not have to be bonded. This is a huge difference from the Explore Air 2. And moving along, the next tool is the Perforation Blade. This tool makes perfect tear-offs and is handy in projects like gift coupons or advent calendars. The next tool is the Wavy Blade. You can use this tool to put a decorative edge on your cards, your tags, or any project that you're doing. It works with iron-on, vinyl, paper, cardstock, and fabric. And that brings us to our last tool, the scoring wheel. This is similar to the scoring stylus. However, the difference with the maker is that this has 10 times more pressure than the scoring stylus. So if you're doing a large amount of cards or envelopes, this is going to save you a lot of time because it's going to give you a crisp crease in one pass. Well, there you have it. Those are all the tools that you can use with the Explore Air 2 and the Cricut Maker. When we compare the two side by side, you can see that the Explore Air 2 has everything it needs to do cutting, scoring, and writing. If you'd be looking at any of the extra tips or tools, just remember that those are only available on the Maker. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this video helped give you some more information so you can make the decision about which machine is right for you. For me, the Maker was the way to go because I liked all the different tools and the materials I could use. I like being able to deboss my cards at Christmas time, using leather to make some earrings, or even cutting some balsa wood to make a beautiful sign as a gift. If you are only planning on using your Cricut to make tumblers or make shirts or make cards, then the Explore Air is going to be more than enough for you. If this is going to be a business venture for you where you're selling products online, or if you think that you want to use more tools or different materials in the future, then I recommend getting the Maker. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials about all things Cricut.